So this is what the mineral feeder looks like. I've showed it to you before in a video. It has a, a lid on it, a, a, a roof on it that rocks as the wind blows it to protect, uh, to protect it from the rain. But my Sweet Pro block has a, uh, won't sit in there just right. So what I'm doing is building some little platforms to go in these uh, wells like this. To bring it up flush with um, with this right here. This is the high point. This is the crest. It kind of comes up here. So I'm I'm uh, <clears throat> I'm bringing it up to that point. It won't rock in here. It'll sit pretty flat on that, and um, should work real well. So I um, I had to put. I noticed my sheep were getting up under it and eating i guess some of the little chips that the the cows when the cows lick it and chew it uh, some of the crumbs falling out of their mouth they were they were getting any under here and eating i guess it's something like that and i i just don't want the sheep to have any any of it uh there is a sweet pro block for sheep and uh, i've used it before love it love what it did and um I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing a video just on Sweet Pro, just tell you about that. But anyway, um, so I had to I had to fix this up to where uh, they were really interested in standing and getting close. Their their mouths were right here. If they'd have stood up on it, they could have probably uh, eaten some of it. If not, they could as as the cows eat it down, then they can probably get in here and eat some of it. Don't want that. So. What I've done is put this mesh, I hope you can see that. Uh, this, um, I made it out of my tomato cages, actually, uh, materials. It's concrete reinforcement wire. And uh, I've got it where they can't get under it here. Wire's right there, wire's on the side, wire's on all four sides. And I wanted it where they couldn't stand up and get it also. So I raised the wire up this far. Well, I got to thinking, when, as the block gets chewed down, the cows are gonna be reaching over and I don't want them to, you know, there's some, I don't want them to start scratching theirself on that. I don't know that it would hurt them too bad, but you just never know. So I've decided to, uh, to do something to remedy that. So as I was saying, the original idea was to put the mesh up high enough where the sheep couldn't get in here. Um, but it would also hinder the, the cows from getting to it when it gets chewed. It, the, the, the Sweet Pro, the, the mix, the block goes all the way down into that bottom. I mean, all the way down to the bottom. That's all block. 250 pounds. So here's what I've done. I think, hope that you can see that. That's going to work. That'll keep the sheep out of it. They're not going to be able to get past that. The cows shouldn't, uh, the cows are going to be reaching over it. I mean, the chest on the cows right there, uh, they're going to be reaching over it. I don't think that'll bother them a bit. If it does, I can bend it down a little bit more instead of having like a 90 there, bend it down a little more. I'll, I'll just watch it and see. But I believe that's going to work. I'll bend this side down, carry it out there. And I just attached it with just uh, some zip ties and if if it works like I want it to work, I'll come back in here and put some uh, wire on it, put some baling wire or something on it real good. So just turning this uh, old mineral feeder into a Sweet Pro Block feeder. Now you're supposed to feed Sweet Pro Blocks on the ground. Um, I can't do that because I have sheep. Sheep cannot eat the cow Sweet Pro Block. Goats can, I think, but sheep can't because it has copper in it. It has a lot of copper in it. Copper is toxic to sheep after a while. It uh, builds up in their system. They can't get rid of it or something. But you can't feed copper, can't feed feeds that have copper in them to sheep. So, and this is 400 ppm of copper. So, I have to, that's why I have to do something different. One reason I was, uh, Wanting to get rid of all my sheep is because it's just, you, you got to, when they're together, you got to watch what you're doing. I was afraid the sheep are going to get 
choked on the cattle, the, the range cubes, because they're going to try to eat what's ever in the trough and have us having trying to feed them separate and all this stuff. And it was just a pain in the butt. So this will solve some of this problem because I'll put a, a, a sweet pro block out, and I'll show you that, a, a sweet pro sheep block out, but I'll build a cage around it with cattle panels where they sheep can go in to get it, cows can't. Um, because the cows need the copper. The cows could eat the sheep, sheep block, but the cows need that copper, I think mainly for hoof care. Uh, but anyway, let me bend down the other side like this, and I'll tote her out there. I like it. I think that's going to work.